Yo, what's up guys? It's Lost Girl. Welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the advantage and disadvantageous, um, you know, matchups for Finn. You already know I've played a lot of Finn at this point. Um, I am a top 500 1v1 Finn. I'm also, I'm about 1700 MMR with him in 1v1s. So my goal every few patches is to make one of these. And as you guys, you know, as I progress, obviously my, you know, my matchup knowledge will get better and I'll become a better player. But for now, I think this is my most accurate attempt at a matchup chart now that I really try to approach it. Um, we're going to be including every character within the Rick patch. So if you're watching that past it, then maybe I might leave a comment leaving my opinions on a, against a certain character. Or you can just ask a question and I'll g give a quick response to you. So this is my current Rick patch Finn tier list for matchups. Now the first matchup is Batman. I genuinely just believe this character has a very, very slight edge over Finn. It is actually pretty skill based um, for the most part. This is probably the least disadvantage out of every character that will be in this tier. But Finn does have a slight disadvantage on him that's not very noticeable, but still can affect the matches. Bugs comes in and I think Finn actually has a slight advantage on Bugs because a lot of the shit that Bugs does is just really easy to deal with as Finn. I mean, you can shoulder charge his rocket to help deal with it. His safe isn't really that annoying to deal with. You kind of outprioritize all of his aerials, contrasting to how it used to be. I felt like Bugs' aerials would just outdo every single one of Finn's, and now it finally feels like Finn the Assassin actually wins those, which is pretty fair, and I'm happy that happened. But overall, just this character doesn't have as much threat as he used to have in general, but it also helps that Finn, you know, just does really well against his playstyle. You can kind of just run him down it just kind of works matchup i used to think was actually in the favor of finn but now i've kind of learned that this matchup is really 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 hard um now if you play finn you know that one of his best ways to recover is the you know down special while you're in the air trying to recover the ledge so you can just throw the gem back on middle of stage and just get a good spot and win neutral well against wonder woman she can not only armor um to make gem easier to deal with but she can also use her side special, which just basically instantly deletes the gem, and it comes out like frame two or three. So you really don't have to care about, um, you really don't even have to care about gem as a Wonder Woman. Not to mention your your moves are all faster than, than Finn, and you can't really out prioritize her up special. I think it's, this has a lot more to do with her power as a character more than it has to do as, as her being a direct counter in terms of playstyle. But if you're playing Finn and you run Armor Crush, and try to play your count try to play very patiently play smart you can easily win this match it's just quite a disadvantage because of how good she is um garnet is one of those noob killer characters that people think has a really op jab but in reality you can't avoid it it's just annoying to deal with like i'll find myself losing to garnet jab spammers whenever i'm like really just not playing well so that's like the really the only time i'll ever struggle, struggle against garnet i think this is more of a character thing especially because of how overall just how weak you know garnet is right now as a character i do i do genuinely think that on top of the fact that her kit is just not good against finn considering how heavy she is how big her hitbox is she's just not meant for this matchup at all i don't i don't, I don't think that's the wave so i think you easily beat garnet i actually think harley is a really bad matchup because harley's probably the most slept on character in the game um i kind of live and die by this that harley is insane and even though you can shoulder charge her jack of the box as well as her bat pillow she's just really hard to deal with and even though you do have all those really nice interactions, her moves are just so annoying to like get around. Like you can't really avoid a non-stop hitbox as Finn whenever you're charging attacks. He, she can get right above your range. And one thing, this is this is how Harley's beat Finns. If they jump right above your range and then they send a, a glove punch down and 90% of the time it'll hit you because you're trying to charge for an attack, but they jump up and get out of your range as soon as you get closer. And you'll notice this is a great way for them to not only cover the space with glove, but also there's not really much other places you can go besides at her. You know what I mean? Because her jack in the box, if she knows how to place it, is nearly impossible to get rid of unless you spend 100 coins. Which if you know how Finn's resources are, that's, that's kind of a lot to keep up with. So... One of the main things about Harley is that her jack in the box, you can put her, you can put it anywhere on the stage. And if you're a bad Harley, you'll put it on the ground because he, I mean, Finn can easily destroy it. It really isn't a problem for him. But if you put it in the air where his shoulder charge can't reach it, it's really, really, really hard to deal with because you need to use a gem 
and use it usually um the harley is the aggressor and if she isn't then you're gonna have to be spending 100 coins which is hard to rack up if you're playing as a passive player so overall there's just really no win and you can't really use her use your backpack in this matchup because you're spending so much gold trying to destroy her projectiles overall very good character that i think um is good simply because of how insane she is in ones how much good tech she has as well as just how many big hitbox moves and long range disjoints you can use to outspace a fin iron giant i think is pretty pretty simply a minus or a plus two um this is such a big advantage just because it's such a big body and i think finn is probably some of the best combo game in the in the entire game right now so honestly can't really see what you're supposed to do uh, as an iron giant here jake uh, is a minus two simply because of how good of a character he is he's just really good at most matchups in 1v1 so kind of the same deal as harley um these are both just insane 1v1 characters that just manage to have a great matchup against uh, against finn um and the main deal with jake is just uh how annoying his landing options are to deal with as finn um you know how much how much more range he has than you how hard it can be to get in sometimes that's like the main problems i think i actually think uh lebron is a minus one uh contrary to what most most people think kind of in the same area as like batman i think lebron is just a pretty good ones character and the fact that you can't shoulder charge his basketball makes the matchup insanely hard i think that it takes a lot of practice to be able to consistently beat a lebron as finn just because of how like anti like how his kit just really you don't have any counterplay against you kind of have to just uh out character him um and that's really how you can beat him but oftentimes you'll find that against the lebron you'll get cheesed or he'll just you know reflect his he'll just reflect your gem and then immediately get his ball basketball back which is someone something a uh, top one percent lebron did against me um that i eventually won the set against was he was using one of his uh moves i think it's like this fence move in the middle of the air i don't even know what it is and it just absorbs your projectile so if you gem against him and you try to hit him he can just use that move and he gets his basketball back so pretty big counter to that play style i think yeah i think we have a plus one against morty because morty is his owner inherently and you have a lot of good ways to deal with his projectiles. You have, you know, his sh you can shoulder charge his laser beam, or not his laser beam, but his little space gun. And even though grenades can be hard to deal with, overall, I noticed that I just end up out damaging Mortys, as well as being able to kill them pretty early. The only thing that Morty has in terms of counterplay is that you don't really lose a down strong as Morty, simply because you can just use your spaceship or your down special. But every other thing, I feel like Finn just outboxes them and can get in pretty easily on him. And once you do get on in, in on him, easily fin out boxes for morty rick i think is a minus one and again it's a character issue um rick i genuinely think has one of the best kits in the game right now and his normals kind of outbox thin a lot of the time because uh player first games cannot balance mages but i will say that rick is just insanely good and that's the main reason why i think it's a disadvantage match i do actually think the fin versus shaggy matchup is completely skill based this matchup is one of my favorite to do in the game simply because of how even it is it really is just comes all down to skill i've played it out so many times that whenever i start out a game i know immediately what to expect they're gonna have that sandwich in their hand and i'm either gonna have to run after them and shoulder charge or i'm gonna have to run out of them and cancel their charge and uh that's that's basically how the matchup goes every time um in terms of the beginning and it's always just interesting to see how that 50 50 in interaction goes and it's just overall i think a really good matchup for finn i think velma you have a quite a big advantage on simply because not only is she pretty bad in ones but also like you just kind of outbox velma and you can just shoulder charge 90 percent of the things she does so it's not really a big deal um to deal with velma and I, that's really kind of all i have to really to say you can just outbox her and her projectiles that are annoying you just shoulder charge rain dog same deal um you can outbox him and also you can shoulder charge his, most of his projectiles um you'll only really lose to really good rain dogs that know how to space like i lost again a bunch against retro but ultimately i feel like in the grand scheme um most of the time finn has a pretty big advantage uh considering the fact that he can destroy most of rain dog's pressure and also because he can just overall outbox rain dog's big body and kill him really early sometimes already has another matchup i consider to be skill based i don't know what kind of crack people are on saying this is an advantage for finn um i feel like finn and Arya are very similar in damage output very different in kit design um like i feel like Arya's combos do just as much as finn's do and kill just as early as Finns do. It's actually kind of scary in terms of like how similar some of their properties are. Um, but in terms of moves, they're completely different. But yeah, I just feel like this matchup is really skill based. Even though Finn can deal with Arya's dagger, it still is a lot of pressure, and you can combo into dagger anyway. 
I genuinely do just feel like this matchup is fine for Finn and same for Arya. It's just really annoying for me personally. Very hard to play against Steven. Right now, I feel like he is a pretty underrated character who's going to be on the come up soon. But I do feel like he definitely has some really bad matchups. So, do I think this is one of his better matchups? Yeah, I think so. I think that he has a lot of, you know, good landing options against Finn. He can kind of deal with Finn's up strong really well. His, he, can, he has a lot of ways to get out of Finn's combo game really early with his neutral dodge, as well as down special helps him land and many other things. He also just, it has some insane damage output. The only problem is killing with this character against Finn is kind of hard, but ultimately I do feel like Steven has a lot of counterplay and can deal with Finn pretty easily. It's a controversial take, but I think Finn actually has a pretty slight advantage on, on Superman. And this is because you can run the armor crush perk. The armor crush perk basically makes it so that whenever you're fully charging an attack, you break armor, which is really good against characters like Wonder Woman and also Superman, because uh, they both have moves that are very, they both have kits that are pretty centered around super armor in terms of, for Superman it's killing and for Wonder Woman it's just kind of like a passive ability um, that you can just down special every once in a while and it kind of works. Um, so with these two characters it can be really helpful to have armor crush. But back onto Superman. Um, even though he does have a lot of his cheese, which obviously can make a big problem for Finn, by default their kits does really favor Finn because of Finn's disjoints and because of his combo game. He can easily just get in on a Superman. He can break armor by gem throwing and then side special, and usually that'll beat out a Superman before you can even use, before you can even finish the animation of a super armor move. Overall, just a really, really good matchup for Finn. I think Taz is another skill-based matchup, simply because... Taz does have the interaction where he can just eat uh, Finn's gem, but the problem with that is that Finn overall does just kind of counter Taz's neutral. I mean, against Taz, you really have, just have a lot more range, and you're able to deal with his tornado pretty easily with the form of gem. But at the same time, it's a double-edged sword because if he's not in tornado, you can't really use it. Um, therefore, it limits his mobility overall, and I do feel like Taz has a lot of decent approach options against Finn, but Finn has a better, Finn basically has a better neutral, but Taz has a lot more counterplay to gem. And overall, just is really strong at killing really early. Um, and therefore, I do feel like Taz is a pretty even matchup against Finn. Tom and Jerry is another matchup I consider to be skill. I think Tom and Jerry is a little bit overhyped in terms of character strength. Now that I play against him, at least maybe it's because I've played him for so long, but like, I feel like he's really easy to play against most of the time. Um, I don't feel like there's a lot of high level Tom and Jerry's that really took him to the furthest potential. Which is kind of surprising considering um, how like interested a lot of people are in this character. But overall, besides Boy and Psyche, there isn't really that many good Tom and Jerry's out there. So I noticed that not only can you win most of the matchups against them because of how many kill options you have for Jerry. There's a few things you can shoulder charge, like Jerry for example, push him the other way. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can easily catch Tom's lacking with your down strong. And that's why I think this matchup is so even is because I swear to God, I feel like most Tom and Jerry's waste all of their resources because down strong is such an easy way to kill most Tom and Jerry players because they spend so many resources trying to recover most of the time that they often will end up being very susceptible to down airs and, and spikes and stuff like that, which is why I used to get gimped so often on Tom and Jerry. So since Finn has a lot of good ways to do that. I do feel like it's a winning matchup for him. Finally, Gizmo. Where would I put Gizmo? Well, I think it's a slight advantage for Finn. I used to think it was a losing matchup, and then I found out you could shoulder charge his popcorn. Notice this is... Have you guys noticed shoulder charge kind of dominates his matchup list? Yeah, that's, that's kind of how it is. Shoulder charge really does affect whether or not you can win a matchup, because if I weren't able to shoulder charge something like, let's say, Rain Dog's Fiery Wall then that would create a huge problem for me, and I'd notice getting in on him would be even harder, and he'd probably be in the even category. Well, whenever you find out you can shoulder charge specific things in this game, like how I found out you could shoulder charge Gizmo's popcorn, everything becomes a lot easier with that character, and a lot of things that used to bother you a lot about the matchup suddenly become completely non-existent. And this is something I realized with Gizmo recently. You can shoulder charge his popcorn, and I knew this, but you can also shoulder charge his bow and arrow. Therefore, a lot of his combo starters and a lot of his neutral play is kind of eliminated because you can just easily get rid of it. The only thing that keeps Gizmo contending so hard here, though, is that he does have his car. He does still have, you know, popcorn setups he can do if you're playing a little bit more passively as a Gizmo. He has some pretty good combo game. He's very small hitbox and a lot of other things, but that's why I think this is a plus one in favor of Finn. I'm going to do a few more switch ups and then we're going to conclude everything.
Hey guys, this is what I'm going to say for now is the official matchup tier list. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or things you want to add to this tier list, make sure you let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely heart all of you guys' comments and see what you guys have to say about this. Thank you guys for coming by. If you guys want more Finn gameplay or Finn related content, make sure you drop a sub and like to support the content more. I appreciate you guys coming by, and uh, take care.